Special thanks to Patreon supporter Faz FPS for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare 204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the RG33. The RG33 is a mine resistant light armored vehicle initially designed by Base Systems Land Systems South Africa, a African subsidiary of Bay Systems. Base Systems is the in the US extensively modified it with additional protection, new powertrain, and suspension systems. It was built in a number of locations, including York, Pennsylvania. It was one of the several vehicles being filled by the US Armed Forces in Iraq under the MRAP program. So yeah, pretty interesting vehicle we have here in front of us. Um, as I mentioned, this is the RG33. There is a earlier version, the RG31, which is a bit different. And there are a couple different variants of this APC. Uh, this one in particular here going to be the 6x6, so the six-wheeled um, vehicle and all that. So uh, yeah, pretty interesting vehicle and should be a fun MRAP to add to our ever-growing line. I feel like at one point we are going to be running out of uh, American MRAPs to do just because we keep doing them so often and uh, so many uh, are coming in as requests from our patrons. But uh, yeah, pretty good stuff overall. Um, speak to patrons. I want to go and give special links to Patreon supporter Faz FPS for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions where you can go and put a small amount to the channel every month. And in doing so, earn a vehicle request you're choosing. Really help support the work I do on my channel. is obviously greatly appreciated. So feel free to check it out if you're interested. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and kind of dive in here to taking a look at the um, vehicle. So starting off with, uh, we have obviously the front of the vehicle here. The forward version is a little bit different in terms of the front compared to the um, 6x6. The 6x6 here definitely more of a kind of transport um, armor personnel carrier um, equivalent. Um, this one here definitely kind of more of like fills the role of like a Humvee, which is kind of more of like a, you know, utility type of vehicle, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so it's got kind of a big cab in the in the back here, just basically a huge section for seating troops, kind of like a big bus almost. Uh, we have the gun up here that can be manned by a infantryman. Um, the side doors, all the little details here, um, you know, all that all the way around. The uh, rear of the vehicle here, and... That's pretty much the vehicle. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward design. It's nothing too complex or anything like that. But uh, overall, a really nice build and it's going to, again, make an awesome addition to any of your uh, Afghanistan maps or just really any maps in particular where you're trying to add in some, uh, you know, military uh, or some American armored vehicles. But anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. All right, guys, so we're going ahead and moving into our first layer here. We're going to go ahead and start with layer one. For layer one, go ahead and get the base established. We're going to go ahead and start off by placing down uh, two polished black stone stairs, which will be upside down back to back to each other, just like that, for the right front. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood trapdoor, a smooth sandstone top slab, birchwood trapdoor, polished black stone upside down stair, and upside down stair come off the back of it like so. After we have that done there, we want to go ahead and then skip a space back from the top slab here, and we're going to place down a birchwood top slab, followed by a second one back from that. We then want to go ahead and place down one and two end rods back, just like that, and then a air sandstone top slab here of a birchwood trapdoor to both sides. Coming off the birchwood trapdoors, we're going to place down a polished black stone upside down stair like this, and a second one directly behind it. We then want to go ahead and place down another set of two polished black stone stairs back to back. So same thing right here on both sides. A birchwood trapdoor here, sandstone top slab, and an air birchwood trapdoor, just like that. After we have that all done there, we also want to go ahead and go to the sides here next to this first uh, trapdoor right here, or makes this first birchwood top slab. We're going to place down two birchwood trapdoors out to the sides here. So just like that. And then on the back here, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, row of one and two birchwood trapdoors going down the center. And then come off the last one here, we're going to place down a birchwood fence key, open it up toward the rear of the vehicle, like so. And, toward, and then a birchwood sign coming off like that. And that right there will basically act as a little step here um, for basically the troops disembarking and embarking the um, vehicle. Uh, but anyways, with that out of the way, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for what we have here for layer one. Here's an overview of what this will look like. Uh, we can also, just for consistency's sake, also place an end rod here um, between those two smooth sandstone top slabs. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up what we have there for layer one. And with that, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number two. Alright guys, moving into our next layer here, we have layer number two. For layer two, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to each one of these polished black stone stairs, and we're just going to place down two stairs on top of them, like this, back to back to each other like this, to go ahead and basically complete all six wheels here for the vehicle. And we're just going to go ahead and continue the stairs all the way around, just like this, to go ahead and make each one of our wheels like so. 
Now, once we get to this point here, we're going to go and start up and go ahead and go into the front here. We're going to place down two smooth sandstone top slabs here. And then one more going toward the inside there to both sides. In the middle space here, we're going to place down a birchwood top slab. We then want to place down an item frame, cut off these two slabs here to both sides. We're going to go ahead and then place down orange beds in the item frames, rotate on their sides like so, followed by birchwood signs over the slabs like that. And then a trip bar hook like this in those item frames, like that hanging downwards. Alright guys, going ahead and continuing on, uh, we're going to then place down an anvil here on top of this top slab here, and then a stone brick wall to both sides, followed by a smooth sandstone block here in the center, we'll come off the anvil, and then a sandstone top slab there to both sides like so, to go ahead and complete the front there. After that, we want to go ahead and take our smooth sandstone blocks, we're going to place down a row of three, followed by a second row of three, a third row, a fourth row, and then a fifth row, like that across. We then want to place down an anvil here in the center, stone brick wall to both sides of the anvil. To the very outsides here, we're going to go ahead and take our sandstone, smooth sandstone stairs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five up sound stairs. Same thing over here as well, just like that. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and take our smooth sandstone, place down a row of three across like this, followed by an anvil right here, and then a stone brick wall to both sides uh, of the anvil like that. After we have that done, we're going to then take our smooth sandstone blocks. We're going to place down a row of three blocks across, just like that. And we then want to place down a additional row, or actually, sorry, no, but my bad. It's going to be a smooth sandstone block here in the center. The smooth sandstone upside down stair to both sides of that block. We then want to place down another upside down stair, coming off the stair like so, to the outside there. And we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood sign coming off the sides of those stairs, like so. And we're going to then place down an item frame. And in that item frame, we're going to place down a red concrete block for the back brake lights. One thing I want to mention also is if you are on Java Edition, you're perfectly able to do the item frame and the sign technique that we have here. If you are on Bedrock version, um, you will not be able to do this feature. If that's the case, just go ahead and place down the item frames uh, and disregard the signs at all points throughout this tutorial. Um, so anyways, once we have that done, we're going to then place down a smooth sandstone up down stair like this coming off the back here. And if you do want to add these little jerry cans here mounted to the sides of the vehicle, we're going to be going ahead and adding those on by very simply just going ahead and placing down a um, birch with trap door coming off the sandstone up down stair. And uh, once we have that all done there, that's going to pretty much wrap that up. Uh, a few things to cover here also is this trap door here. We're going to go one more out to the side and a birchwood fence gate on top of it opened up toward the vehicle. Same thing over here, birchwood trap door, birchwood fence gate opened up toward the stair like that. And with that all done there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for the structure for this layer. We're going to move into real quick, um, showing you guys how to make these banner wheels, which are kind of optional, but they add a nice little uh, kind of feature or aesthetic to the build, I think, for the wheels. So I'm going to go ahead and move into showing you guys how to do that and um, all that. So let's go ahead and grab our materials for our banners. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into making the banner wheels. The banner wheels here are super simple to make. All we're going to do is go ahead and place down a loom. We're going to go into a loom for our black banners and our yellow die. We're going to do a line to the left side of yellow in our, for our first banner and then our second banner here. We're going to go ahead and then do a line to the right side like so. So we should have two banners that look like this. We're going to then take our four black die, put each banner back into our loom in our black die, and we're going to select the horizontal line across the bottom and the horizontal line across the top, just like that to go ahead and make this design. And same thing over here, horizontal line on the bottom, horizontal line across the top there. And once you have that done, you have basically both your uh, banners made, and we're going to very simply just go ahead and go to these polished black stone stairs. And to the sides of the top ones, we're just going to go and place down these two banners like so, with the yellow facing toward each other like that, to go ahead and basically make our wheels like that. And once we have that all done there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for uh, layer number two. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down one, two, one, two, smooth sandstone blocks, and then an anvil here in the very center. We then want to go ahead and go off of the anvil with a wither skeleton skull like so, and then a ladder to both sides of it, just like this. We're going to go then place down an item frame here on these two smooth sandstone blocks, and a snowball in the item frames, just like that for the front headlights. After that's done, we want to go and then take our smooth sandstone. We're going to place down two rows of three across of smooth sandstone and then two smooth upside down stairs here to both sides. We're going to go and also place a polished black stone button on both sides of these smooth sandstone blocks up here in the front. We then want to do a row of four of smooth sandstone blocks, or sorry, a row of five of, of uh, smooth sandstone blocks going across with a polished black stone button again to both sides. We're going to go and then place down a row of five here across, followed by a birchwood fence gate on both sides, opened up toward the uh, blocks like so. And we're going to go ahead and place down another row of five smooth sandstone blocks across, a row of three, upside down smooth sandstone stair to both sides, and we want to go ahead and place down another row 
of five of smooth sandstone blocks all the way across, this time with a birch wood up downstairs to both ends. Once we get done with that, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three smooth sandstone blocks across the center here, a upside down smooth sandstone stair to both sides, and then a upside down birch wood stair coming off both ends as well. We're going to go ahead and place down three more rows of three of smooth sandstone going across the center here, and then one, two, and three smooth sandstone upside down stairs to both sides. And then here in the after that, we're going to then grab our iron bars and we're going to place down one, two, and three iron bars along the side here, one, two, and three along the side like that. When we get to this point right here, uh, we can go ahead and make our jerry can. Um, you can go ahead and use yellow uh, shulker boxes or you can go ahead and use green. Um, for us, we'll go ahead and use some green here and we'll place it down on top of those trap doors. Again, this is something you don't need to do, but if you want to add it, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, if you're doing green, uh, jerry cans here we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head on top of those if you're doing a yellow one you just want to go ahead and place down your uh, skeleton skull on top there and we're just going to go ahead and wrap the sides here with some polished black stone buttons there for a little bit of e extra additional detail so pretty simple little optional thing you can add on there if you want we're going to go ahead and place down a smooth sandstone block here in the corners and then in the center uh, we want to go ahead and place down a birch or strip birch wood block like this, birch wood up down stair to both sides. Coming off the two stairs, we're going to place down item frames with trip bar hooks in the item frames, and we're going to go and rotate the trip bar hooks so that they are facing downwards. And then in the center here, we're going to place down a polished black stone button like so. And lastly here for this layer, we're just going to go and place down a birch wood top slab, coming off these two smooth sandstone blocks like that toward the rear there on both sides like so. And with that all complete there, that's going to pretty much wrap that up. Uh, one thing we do want to add over here on the right side is going to be a skeleton skull coming off this smooth sandstone block. And that's going to be on the right side and the right side of the vehicle only. Anyways, looking at it from above, this is what it should look like so far. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number four. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of smooth sandstone blocks across the front here, followed by three ladders across like that. Once we get to this point, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone stair here to both sides like so. And we're going to go ahead and then fold it up by placing down two rows of five of smooth sandstone full blocks. On both ends of those two rows of five, we're going to go ahead and place down ladders on both sides like so. We then want to take our bir strip birch wood, we're going to place down one and two blocks along the sides here, one and two, and then another row of three of smooth sandstone across the center there. And uh, if you do want to close off the interior here for the build, um, if you don't plan on doing anything for the interior, uh, we can go and take black concrete and just kind of close this area off like so. Now we're going to then place down a trip bar hook on these two stripped birch wood logs like that, and then a lever on the forward one like so. We then want to go ahead and take our smooth sandstone. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight smooth sandstone blocks along the side here, and we're going to then place down one, two three, four, five, six, and seven trapdoors all the way along the side here. If you did build the if you didn't build the jerry can you can go ahead and also place down a trapdoor on this block right here. But since we have the zombie head in that block space we can't put the the trapdoor and the zombie head in the same space so we have to kind of settle with that. Um, and we're gonna do the same thing over here as well. So build this all the way along the side here. And then our trapdoors like so and make sure that they are all closed and we do want them all facing the same relative direction so just like that on both sides there now once we get to this point here uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a stripped uh, birch wood block on top of those two sandstone top slabs and then on the back here we're going to place down a row of three of those uh, stripped birch wood uh, logs across and then a trip bar hook coming off the very center one like so we also want to place down a trip bar hook on this um, stripped birch wood block there on the right side and the right side only uh, when we get to this point also, we can take our black concrete and just fill the inside in here if you don't want to do an interior. If you do want to do an interior, you can go and leave the space open and kind of add whatever you guys want to build inside there. Um, completely up to you guys, but we're going to close this off as the... Uh, we don't want the uh, vehicle to have gaps or anything like that or being able to see into it, just kind of avoid and all that stuff. So, kind of better to close it off. Kind of makes it a little bit more, you know, look like there's something going on in there. Um, anyways, though, that right there is going to wrap up what we have there for layer 4. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number 5. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 5. For layer 5 to go ahead and get started, uh, we can go ahead and start off by going ahead and placing down a row of 1, 2, and 3 of birchwood pressure plates across here, followed by a birchwood trapdoor in the center, birchwood pressure plate to both sides, and then a row of 3 of trapdoors across just like that with a trapdoor, or with a um, pressure plate to both sides like so. We then want to place down a birchwood fence post in the two corners here, and then to this fence post on the right side on top of it we're going to place down a skeleton skull. 
After we have that done, we're going to go then place down a black stained glass block on top of these two blocks here. In the middle space, we want to go and then place down a sandstone wall, and then a sandstone wall to both sides like so. Coming off those sandstone walls, we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood fence gate out to both sides. And coming off the fence gate there, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished blackstone wall to both sides like that. Followed by an item frame coming off those walls, and then in those item frames, we're going to go and place down a glass pane like that to both sides. After that's done, we're going to go and then place down a black stained glass block here to both sides like so, and then a row of three of black concrete across. We then want to go along our sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, black concrete back. Same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven back. And on this last spot right here, we're going to place down a smooth sandstone block. Again, you can go ahead and choose to fill this inside in with just some black um, concrete. Doesn't really matter though, but we're going to fill it all the way back here to this space if you do choose to fill that space in. Now, once we get to this uh, space back here, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of three of black stained glass panes across just like that for the back of the vehicle. Now once we have that done, we're going to place down a sandstone slab on top of this block and then a sandstone, or sorry, a birchwood slab and then a birchwood stair over here on the left one like so. At this point in the tutorial right here, uh, we have basically our structure done for this layer and we're going to go and now move into making the banners here which we'll be using uh, on the sides of the vehicle to make the windows a little bit more prominent. Anyways, let's go ahead and grab the materials we need and let's go ahead and move into making those banners. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into making those banners. We're going to need obviously our loom, and we're going to need two black banners and four yellow dye. To go ahead and get started, we're going to place down two black banners in our loom, and we want to go and then split each one of these banners in half by placing the yellow on the bottom here, and we're going to do this for both these banners, like so. We then want to place down each banner back into our loom, and selecting the line on the vertical left side, we're going to go ahead and create our first banner. And then our second banner here, we're going to go and select the line vertical on the right side. So we get two banners that look just like that. These banners here are going to go ahead and go on the black concrete blocks here, alternating like this all the way down the side here to go ahead and create our windows there on the sides of the vehicle. And obviously the same thing over here as well. So you should have a total of four windows you're able to make with the space that we have on the side of the vehicle. So just like that. Then on the very back here also, we're going to place down a banner here, come off the glass panes that, or glass full blocks there to the sides to go ahead and kind of make that look a little bit more um, window type shaped. And anyways, that right there is going to pretty much wrap up what we have there for uh, layer number uh, 5 for the build. And with that, we're going to move into our last final layers for the build. So with that, let's move into our final layers. Alright guys, going ahead and move into our final layers here. We have layers 6 through 11. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and go to the top of the vehicle up here. We're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of this center wall right here, followed by a birchwood pressure plate to both sides on top of those two black stained glass blocks. We then want to place down a stone sandstone slab back from the skeleton skull. Then one to the side like so, and then a polished black stone slab to the other side. Where this polished black stone slab is, we're going to place down an item frame and then a snowball in the item frame like that. We then want to go ahead and go to the right side, then the right side only. We're going to place down a white stained glass pane right here. And we're going to go ahead and place down two stone buns on these two sides like that, like so for the vehicle. On the other side, however, we're going to place down a daylight detector. When we get to this point here, on both sides, we're going to go back from these front blocks, one, two, three, and four. Daylight detectors, same thing over here, one, two, three, and four. And we want to go and then place down a polished blackstone slab to both sides with a item frame and a snowball in the item frame like that. And then continuing on, we're going to place down two more daylight detectors back on both sides, followed by a birchwood fence post in the corners here. And then one, two, and three smooth sandstone slabs across the back there like that. Now we're going to then place down additional row three going forward like so. A another smooth sandstone slab in the center here. Uh, birchwood slab to both sides and then row three and then a, another row of three going across here as well after we get that done we're going to then place down a row of three of smooth sandstone stairs like this across a smooth sandstone full block to both sides a another full block here in the center and then a sandstone uh, stair to both sides of that full block like that to kind of create the mount there for our machine gun now for the housing here for our machine gun where it's going to sit uh, we want to go and start off by going ahead and placing down a sandstone stair on top of this one uh, basically facing toward the back here and we're going to place down three sandstone walls along the sides here like so. We then want to place down item frames along those, black stained glass panes in those item frames, just like that. And then once we get to this point here, uh, to make the machine gun itself, uh, we want to go ahead and start off by placing down an anvil in the center here, a dark oak fence gate coming off the anvil toward the back here, we're going to go ahead and have that opened up like so. We're going to go then grab a polished blackstone stair 
place down an upside down stair here. A sandstone top slab to the left side. And to the other side here, we're going to place down an item frame. And we're going to then place down a black bed in the item frame. Rotate it sideways. And after that, we want to go and then place down a dark oak sign on the side of the stair as well as, as long as we're able to do so. Then we're going to take our chains, place down two chains going forward from the polished blackstone stair. And on the very top here, we're going to place down a redstone repeater on top of the stair, followed by a powered rail on this top slab to the side here. And we want it facing like this so it looks like it feeds into the gun itself. Now after we have that done, we're going to then take our birchwood trapdoors. We're going to place down a trapdoor coming off this sandstone top slab and this dark oak wood sign. And then on top of those two trapdoors, we're going to place down two more and open them up like that to create the kind of panels there to protect the gunner. Last thing we need to do here is to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron bars and we just want to go ahead and go up from these birchwood fence posts. One, two, three, four, five. And yeah, five iron bars up. Same thing over here. One, two, three, four, and five. And just like that, that right there is going to basically wrap it up for what we have here for the RG33, um, basically MRAP. Hope you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this design, do I say, guys, give me proper credit for it. Uh, one thing, actually, whew, before I forget, um, we do have something to add on the side here, and I almost completely forgot about it. Um, it is something that's kind of sneaky. But on the right side here, we're actually going to delete this trapdoor and this, um, and that um, banner. We're actually going to place down two sandstone walls here and then a skeleton skull on top of that last wall like that for the uh, kind of snorkel there for the vehicle anyways now that right there is going to do it for the rg33 mrap hope you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put good use if you do use this build i do actually you guys give me proper credit for it this will be linked from a side of the build to a link to my channel where this video if as long as this if this appears on any social media sites, just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of videos. So, as long as you guys give me credit for your free user for projects you guys are working on. Overall, um, thank you guys again so much for watching. Big special thanks to Patreon supporter Faz FPS again for making this tutorial possible. And with that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 204, and I'll see you guys next time.